everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and today another episode of What's For Dinner. We have a delicious roasted pork tenderloin with a honey orange glaze that's filled with garlic and seasonings. It's super easy to make. It roasts in about a half an hour and it's on the table in no time. There's even a little bit of sauce left over that you can drape over it when you get ready to serve it. So let's go see how this all comes together. We're gonna go over all of the ingredients for our honey glazed pork tenderloin. And this is so easy. I love pork tenderloin because they cook quickly, they're delicious, and they're super versatile. So I have one package of pork tenderloin. They always come with two tenderloins in them. You can trim them if you like. Usually there's not a lot of trimming that needs to be done. I see a little piece of fat here I'm gonna take off. But other than that, you know, it's usually fairly clean. They do a really good job of cleaning these before they get to the consumer. So up to you. You can take off these little pieces of fat. It's super easy just with a sharp knife and you're done. We're going to glaze this up. I actually have it on the pan I'm going to be roasting it on. Um, we're going to rub this down with some seasonings. What I have in here is a teaspoon each of uh, cracked black pepper, kosher salt, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and poultry seasoning. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix those up. And we'll rub down those tenderloins with this. And then we're gonna mix up a glaze that's a half, um, pardon me, a quarter of a cup of honey, quarter of a cup of orange juice, and three to four cloves of minced garlic. That's as easy as this gets. All right, I went ahead and I mixed up our little glaze with the honey, the orange juice, and the garlic. It tastes a little bit on the sweet side for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of acidity by tossing in a little balsamic vinegar. This is gonna also help it married with the side dish that I'm gonna be making, which is a roasted vegetable pasta salad, which will also have um, balsamic vinegar in it. So I'm gonna give this a bit of a taste, see how we like it. Oh, that's better. That's nice. Okay, so this is how hard this is. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sprinkle our seasoning on these tenderloins and get it on there real good. And very important to season your meat properly. Otherwise, you just have a very bland dish. Now, this is how simple it is. You're just gonna glaze this with this honey and orange juice glaze. Just kind of pat it on there so that you don't remove that, that rub. And then we're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and we're going to roast it for about 25 to 35 minutes or until the meat thermometer comes out um, with a reading of 165 degrees and then you can take it out. I'm gonna stop one more time <clears throat> about halfway through the cooking time and I'm going to glaze it one more time with the remainder of this glaze. So this is gonna go in the oven and we'll be back when this is ready to come out. And there you have it, our delicious honey glazed pork tenderloin ready for dinner. This took about 35 minutes to roast. I made sure that my meat thermometer read 160 degrees. I let it rest for 10 minutes before I sliced it and here we are. I took the, the sauce that was in the bottom of the pan after we basted it and I just poured it um, from the pan after it cooked into this little dish in case anyone wants to kind of drape that over their meat when it comes time to serve. So that is how easy it is to make this delicious roast pork tenderloin with a honey glaze. It's super delicious and super easy. Honey, are you wanting to try this? Cause it's so oh, good. You. It's so good. Let's see here if I can do this without a knife. It really is very tender. Tell me what you think about that. Mm. It's got just enough yeah. sweetness and more. <laughs> well, that's a little bit big. You're just kidding. But you seriously don't really need a knife for this. And that's the, that's the beauty for dip it in the sauce. Mm -hmm. He says, dip it in the sauce. Mm. Even better. Even better. So that's it. 
how you know it's always great when the family goes this is really good make it again you know that that you really know you have a winner when that happens not only is this great for family on a weeknight or anytime it's really great again for your Easter or spring celebration buffet or dinner um, I think this would be a great option to consider you can do a couple of these and just roast them on a sheet pan have them ready the best part about roasted meat is it doesn't necessarily have to be super hot when you serve it and you can serve it at room temperature and it's still going to be delicious as long as whatever sauce you're serving with it is heated through that's going to warm the meat just right and everyone's going to be able to enjoy it did you mention easter i did mention easter I did. It'd be really good for Easter. It'd be really good for Easter. It's a beautiful spring meal. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my kitchen, welcome. Please be sure and hit the subscribe button. And as always, if you are a member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, tried and true, go on down and hit that bell, that bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this honey glazed pork tenderloin a try sometime soon and I hope you love it and until next time I'll see ya